y'all. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. Today we're going to be doing some spring cleaning and a refresh of our patio to get it ready for spring and summer. This is one of our absolute favorite places to spend our time at our house whenever the weather is nice outside. But as you can see, we have not really done much to it throughout the winter and it is in need of a good deep cleaning. We're going to start by taking everything out of the patio and give everything a good pressure washing. And I'm also going to be adding some new decor and fun items just to add a little bit of color and laugh back into the patio. I hope that you guys really enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and thank you again so much for being here. For those of you who don't know, this is my husband, Johnny, and I'm so thankful that he's always so willing to help me with anything that I try to do around the house. If you've been around here for a while, you know he helps me a lot inside the house too with cleaning and all that kind of stuff. But on this day, I was going to start this project while he was at work, and then I was like, no, you know what? We're going to start it this afternoon when you get home from work because I needed help carrying all of the patio furniture and stuff out of the screened-in porch. So he had just gotten home this day, and it was a little bit chilly I'm not gonna lie but we've been having some really really pretty days which gets me so excited to use this space but now that we've got everything cleared out he's gonna give everything a good pressure washing now it got rid of a lot of the dirt and stuff but the pollen here in Alabama is so crazy right now and it typically is this time of year so as soon as we got the porch cleaned up and ready to go it was already covered in pollen again but it typically is this time of year so we usually just have to take the blower and blow everything off every few days to keep the pollen out of here until everything settles down, but giving it a good pressure washing made this space feel so much better. Lightning strikes by my window, hits my chest right in the morning, like a warning, could have slept here for days. Now that he got everything inside the porch cleaned and blown off, now he's gonna give the furniture a quick spray and then we'll move everything back inside. If you guys follow along with me on Instagram, then you probably have already heard me talk about this at some point, but I just wanted to update you guys here because I'm not sure if I've actually talked about it on here or not. But when I built this house, I wasn't really sure like what direction I wanted to go with it as far as decor and stuff. So we started with a very blank slate and did basically everything in the house solid white. And we're coming up on four years now in July, four years that we've lived in this house. And, you know, I liked everything like bright and white and crisp and clean for quite some time. But after living in here for a while, I just really started getting bored with everything. And Johnny was being silly. Um, I started getting a little bored with everything. And I told Johnny, I was like, you know what? Like, it just doesn't feel homey with everything being so plain Jane, you know? So um, you're gonna notice uh, toward the end of the video and in all of my future videos that I have really been trying to little by little add more color and pattern and texture and things like that to my house. It just makes me happy. I used to have, you know, color and pattern and stuff in my house. And then I kind of went to like more of a black and white gold type vibe, which like I said, I loved for a while, but it just never felt homey. And I don't know what it is, but my heart is just pulling me in the direction of like 
colors and patterns and wallpapers and stuff like that. So you guys are going to see me add a lot of wallpaper to my house. Um, but starting with this rug out here, the rug that I had before, I loved it. I still kept it down on our patio area, but something about this one just brought like joy to my heart. And I was like, this is where we're going to start. You guys are also going to see a glimpse of our living room at the end of this video. And you're going to notice a lot of changes in there as well. So I just wanted to prepare you that I will be adding a lot of color and fun items to my house. And I hope that it brings you guys just as much joy as it does me. So we got everything pressure washed and cleaned up. We got the new rug down. I'm probably gonna have to blow everything off again at the end because you can see the pollen is just crazy and so much of it has already came back in. But now we're gonna work on the cushions. I normally get Johnny to like pressure wash them for me when he's doing the furniture but I wanted to try out a new little gadget or tool that I got. Um, you guys know I've been obsessed with my little green machine for years now, and I got their new cordless version of it, which is gonna be perfect for bringing out here and like cleaning all of the cushions and not having to worry about plugging it up somewhere. So we're about to test that out now, clean the cushions, and then we'll get to bring in everything, like the coffee table and stuff back in and add in a few little touches of new decor. I'm gonna give you a quick little haul of all of the items that I picked up for the patio. These are all from Walmart and I have just been blown away by all of the options that they have on their website right now. I actually spotted this rug about a month or so ago in Walmart and we were walking past the patio section and I stopped and pointed it out to Johnny. I was like, this is what I'm gonna get for our patio this year because I thought it was beautiful and y'all know I'm just in my color adding era in our home right now. So whenever Walmart reached out to me wanting to work together on this project, I was super excited. I immediately knew that this rug would be one of the items that I chose. And then now let me show you the other things that I picked. So I'm so, so excited about these. They are pillow covers and they're in the William Morris prints, which you guys know I actually have like their Strawberry Thief print pillows on our bed. I love all of their stuff, but I got these really pretty pillow covers and then I got four pillow inserts. I haven't opened this one up yet. I got this wind chime, which I'm so excited about. I know it might sound silly and this probably means that I'm getting old, but my great grandma always had wind chimes out on her porch and now my mom all does too. And my kids love them, especially Gaines. We went out there recently for Easter actually and hers were just going crazy in the wind and Gaines just sat and watched them forever. So I'm so excited to add this cute little butterfly one out here and just listen. I don't know, there's just something about that, I guess, because I grew up hearing it all the time. It just makes me so happy, so I'm so excited to have that out here. Then I got this beautiful garden stool, which I thought would be really handy to have over here in this corner. Kind of like a little side table. We can sit our drinks on it when we're out here, but more so, it's just absolutely beautiful. I loved like all of the floral print and everything that it had on it, and I thought it was a really pretty way to add some color out here too. Then I got this citronella scented candle. I always try to have one of these out here on the coffee table. That way we can light it whenever we're sitting out here. 
I know this is a screened in porch, but the kids run in and out all the time. So we do get mosquitoes in here from time to time. So I like having one of these to light while we're out here. I thought that it was really pretty and I also love that it had a lid. As you guys could see earlier, the one I had last year did not and it got really yucky in there. So this will be really nice to be able to close that up whenever we're not using it. Next up is this beautiful planner. I thought this was absolutely stunning and I don't know what it is, but I just have a thing lately for like cottagey looking items and I thought that this definitely fit that so I'm so excited I got a beautiful flower to put in it which I'll show y'all in just a second next is this garden stool as well I got two of them because I thought this one would be really great to kind of sit maybe somewhere over here by the fireplace or over in that corner and put a plant on it or a fern or something like that I picked up a couple the other day so I might try that out on there but I thought this would be great to have to sit some plants on because I am going to try to do better about having more plants and flowers and stuff this year send me all of your tips because I struggle to keep them alive but I also thought it kind of tied in with this table with like the iron on the bottom so that's really cute too I'm so excited to put all of this stuff out here I'm gonna get everything set up now and I'll show y'all how it all turns out I just want to say thank you so much to Walmart for sponsoring today's video we're gonna clean these cushions and then I can't wait for you to see how everything turned out you say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find cause you got me I don't want to break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy
You guys can see just by this clip that this thing worked amazing at cleaning my cushions. It's definitely my new go-to for cleaning the patio cushions out here. I typically will pressure wash them in the driveway, but they hold so much water and they kind of sit like waterlogged out there for like two days trying to dry. This not only cleaned them better, but they dried within like 30 minutes to an hour after, which was so much more convenient. So this will definitely be how I clean them from now on. I recommend this machine a lot. Like I said, I've had the original little green machine for years now and I love it, but this cordless feature just makes it so much more convenient. So I love it. It's definitely my new go-to for a lot of areas in my house. This will be great for cleaning my carpet stairs and not having to worry about you know plugging it in somewhere. I will definitely be using it all over my house. This little tray is actually from Walmart a couple of years ago and it's held up great. So I'm just wiping it down and I'm gonna place it back on the coffee table. I like to have this out here just to hold like our candles and all the random remotes. We have a remote to the TV, fireplace, and fan out here. So it's just nice to keep everything in one little spot, but I'm gonna slowly start adding all of the new decor items and then I'll give you a little tour at the end of how everything turned out.
Just a little tip for you guys in case you didn't already know this, if you like your pillows to be super full and fluffy, always go one size bigger for the insert than the actual cover. So like for example, if you have a 18 by 18 pillow cover, get the 20 by 20 insert. You kind of have to like really stuff it in there, but it keeps them very full and fluffy. Here is a little tour of the finished refresh. It just brought a little color and coziness to the patio and we cannot wait to enjoy this space. I will have everything that I used linked in the description box below for you guys. Now we're headed inside to give our living room a quick cleanup and you're going to see that I've changed up quite a few things in the space since I last posted a video. These accent chairs are by far one of my favorite things that I've ever purchased for our home. I love them so much and they just make me really happy. But I've added a new rug, curtains, a floor lamp, some artwork, things like that. Just slowly trying to make our house what I love. I have always had this obsession with like historic cottagey type houses and the coziness that they have. And even though this is a new build and I will probably never live in a cottage type home because I truly believe this is our forever home. I've just decided I'm going to try to bring as much of that coziness to this home as I possibly can. This coffee table actually came from my parents' house. My mom had this in our house um, ever since I was a kid and she was recently getting rid of it and I was like, no, I want that. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it just, the memories, I love having things like that that actually mean something to you in your home. So I painted the top black and put it in here in our living room and it's just become our favorite little spot to like sit and have our coffee together in the mornings. But I hope that you guys enjoy the journey of me slowly changing our home and just making it more like collected and cozy. I'm so excited excited about it and I hope that you guys are too.
really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I know that I took a little break from posting here on my channel recently, but I will be back posting consistently now, and I have so many exciting videos and projects coming your way, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all again for being here. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Grab right here. Woo! Grab right here. Grab right here. Yeah, have you seen what's under there? What you're telling me to grab? Just grab. Okay.